If you didn't already know, the 2025 Edexcel GCSE business papers are out, so we've got the predictions for you in this video. Our papers do come with free video walkthroughs of the 2025 papers to show you exactly how to structure those top grade answers. Whether you're aiming for a grade nine or just want to feel more confident with your exam, then we are here to support you. So these walkthroughs are full of tips, tricks, and clear examples designed to help you revise really, really smart, not harder. The paper begins with multiple choice questions, so make sure your revision covers all the basics. They love to test you on the little details. And a few top tips for approaching multiple choice questions. Read the question carefully as they can be sneaky with their wording. Eliminate any obvious wrong answers to narrow down your options. Never leave a question blank though, because there's no penalty for guessing. And finally, watch out for destructors. Some answers may sound right, but aren't quite correct. Now let's look at the paper one content for the 2025 predicted paper. Paper two is later in the video, so feel free to use the timestamps to skip to those predicted topics as well. Now do keep in mind that these topics are very broad, but can act as a useful starting point for you. The best way to see how these would translate in two questions is of course to purchase our predicted papers. So first up, we suggest revising customer needs and market research. As we know in businesses, understanding your customer is everything. For your exam, you should focus on how businesses identify and meet customer needs, such as quality, choice, convenience, and price. You also need to know how businesses gather information through primary research like surveys and focus groups, and then secondary research such as internet searches and market reports. Be prepared to explain how understanding customer needs reduces risk and supports better business decisions. A top tip here, practice linking your answers to how a startup might use this information to survive and grow. Next, we have the role of business enterprise. Business isn't just about making money, it's about solving problems. You'll need to explain the purpose of business, including providing goods and services, meeting customer needs and adding value. Think about entrepreneurs and how they take risks, organise resources and drive innovation. The exams often ask how entrepreneurs spot opportunities and make businesses successful. So get comfortable with that angle. OK, next we have business revenues, costs and profits. Be prepared for the maths here. You should be confident calculating revenue price times quantity, total costs, which is fixed plus variable, and then profit, revenue minus costs. You'll also need to understand the break-even analysis and cash flow. Make sure you can interpret simple data tables, pie charts, and graphs. Here's a tip, always show you working, even if the question looks easy. Next up, brush up on all things business plans. A business plan is much more than just paperwork. It is almost like a roadmap. So therefore you should know what's included in a business plan, that being objectives and marketing strategy, operations, finance and human resource planning. Exam questions here tend to focus on how a business plan helps reduce risk and secure finance. You may be asked how a plan helps a startup make better decisions, so be specific and structured in your answer. Next, we have options for startups and small businesses. You'll need to understand the different ownership types, sole traders, partnerships and limited companies. Know the pros and cons of each in terms of control, liability, access to finance and legal requirements. Also learn about franchising as a method of growth. It's always helpful to be able to compare these options and be able to recommend the best one for a specific business scenario. OK, last of all, we have legislation and business. Understanding the law is vital. So focus on how legislation affects areas like consumer rights, employment and health and safety. You'll be expected to explain why this matters and how it impacts costs, reputation and day to day operations. A frequent exam trick is to ask how following the legislation can benefit or hinder a business. So make sure your answers are balanced. OK, those are our paper one predictions for Excel GCSE business. We're now going to move on to paper two. Now, as I said before, these topics are quite generalised. And so the best way to see how these translate into questions is by accessing our predicted papers. Now, first of all, we'd recommend making sure that you are comfortable with business and globalisation. By that, I mean you have to think globally. You need to understand how globalisation affects UK businesses. That includes imports and exports, exchange rates and foreign competition. You need to be ready to explain both the benefits, such as access to new markets, and the drawbacks, like increased competition. 
helpful tip would be to practice applying exchange rate changes using the acronym SPICED, which stands for Strong Pound Import Cheaper Exports Dearer. OK, next up, be aware of ethics, the environment and business. Doing the right thing has a business impact. Understand how ethical behaviour such as fair trade or paying a living wage and environmental considerations like sustainability and waste reduction affect business decisions and reputation. You're often asked to weigh the costs and benefits of ethical behaviour. Here it's useful to remember that ethical choices might increase costs but they can also build long-term customer loyalty. Our next predictive topic is using the marketing mix to make business decisions. This is all about strategy. You need to know all four elements of the marketing mix. That's product, price, place and promotion and how businesses use them to meet customer needs and stay competitive. Think about how companies adapt the mix when launching new products or entering new markets. The exams may give you a business scenario and ask how the company should adjust its marketing mix. So focus on applying your knowledge, not just listing it. We then have the sales process. The sales process includes customer engagement, product knowledge, speed and efficiency and after sales service. Be ready to explain how each part contributes to customer satisfaction and loyalty. These are easy marks if you can clearly describe what makes a sales process effective and how it leads to repeat business. Now, last of all, we think you should consider all things effective recruitment. This means essentially hiring the right people. Here, you should know the difference between internal and external recruitment and be familiar with job descriptions person specifications and selection methods such as CVs, interviews and tests. The key focus here is how effective recruitment contributes to business success. So think about how it affects skills, motivation and long term growth. OK, then those are our Edexcel business predictions for 2025. We hope they act as a useful starting point to your revision. But as always, be sure to revise anything you're not totally comfortable with to ensure you're fully prepared for what the exams might throw at you. Best of luck in your 2025 exams.